Hey everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing bickering book reviews. Today we're talking about Well Played by Jen DeLuca, which I got off of Edelweiss. Same. And so this book is an adult romance book because the YA books have been kind of drying out <laughs> lately and it's hard to find stuff for us to review. So if you're um, reading any good recent YAs or upcoming YAs, um, make a suggestion and we may just be able to fit it in and read it. Yep. Um, so this book is about Stacy, who is in her late twenties, and she was a college graduate, and she was gonna go. She got a great job in New York, but then her mom got sick, and she came home, and so she's basically been living at home this whole time. I'm gonna stop you because every time I hear Stacy, I always have the song Stacy's Mom going through my head, and so I'm like trying to get it out of my head. So true. It's just not happening. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, and so Stacy. Sorry, Sarah. Is mom? It's God. It's good. <laughs> um, she lives over her parents' garage, and she is a receptionist at a dental office. And she kind of hates that, but what she loves is over the summer she helps run the local Renaissance fair, and she's been doing this for years. Her best friend is just gets engaged with the person who like coordinates and oversees the whole affair, and she's had an ongoing summer fling with um, the lead singer of. Was it what was it battling kill like this this band this band um and so one moment after the fair in a night where she's drunk and she's totally upset with life she sends a message to him saying that she misses him and that she wishes that like they had a better relationship and she gets a reply um and it's this great reply and she's going back and so they keep replying back and forth. And then it turns, and she basically is falling in love with him through these texts and emails. And then it turns out that she has not been corresponding with the lead singer, Dex. She's been corresponding with his cousin, the manager, Daniel. So then Daniel, when everything shows up and comes out, that's basically, without giving away more. I feel like a lot of things were started that were good foundational things that just never were fully realized like sh they start the book off with her buying this dragonfly necklace that she absolutely loves and keeps going on and on about and does bring up at various points throughout the novel and the dragonfly is supposed to represent change the way that it's set up is it feels kind of like this mystical magical plot point plot device but it never actually gets to that point and it never is fully integrated or rounded out enough that it just seems like almost a waste of time. Well, and I don't know if, because, like, this is the second book in a series, and I didn't realize this was the second book in the series. So I don't know if it would have been better if we, like, had read the first book first. Um, my problem was I found Stacy to be a little whiny. Yeah, I Stacy was not awesome. Like she, she was one of those, she's, she was set up as the type of character that would grow throughout a novel, like that she starts off pretty, um, self-involved and not great, but they grow and you like them more as the novel goes on. She never really grew. She didn't grow. Um, and maybe that's why she deserves Daniel, <laughs> deserves yeah. what happened with Daniel. And so, and I guess I'm going to have to mark this as spoilers. So my problem is Daniel was lying. And Daniel kept saying no more lies, and then there were more lies. And I feel like she gets upset with him, and she forgives him like four minutes later. Can't, but I want to go back. Like, nobody deserves to be lied to. Right. Like, I know that I said that she deserves it, but like, it's not really what I meant. Like, she just, she's not a great character. But then again, neither is he. And yeah, he, he and he, at no point does he ever fight for her. Like, he never, he never fights for her. He keeps walking away from her. He keeps saying, yeah, I know yeah. I lied. Okay, well, I'll leave you now. Which I guess is kind of chivalrous. But at the same time, I'm like, you keep lying true. to her. Right. And the other thing is, like, at no point did it ever get steamy. Like. I mean, it was, it was, no, like it wasn't, it was not interesting. It was not an interesting steamy scene. It just wasn't. 
because we just finished reading all of these other adult romance books that are like way me like I'd be embarrassed to read it at the children's desk. <laughs> this one, like, yeah, sex happened, but like it wasn't like, who don't look at me, sex. It was just <laughs> like, oh, this is awkward. So and like I said, this to is me, a really spoilery video. Oops. Yeah. Whatever. So like the most interesting part were Simon and Emily, and that's the first book. Right. I I feel like there isn't much else to say. Like I mean I like the I liked Emily's older sister too. And right. I think that there's potential for another book between her and Mitch. I think that is the third book, if you look on Goodreads. Okay. So but and like yeah. they sounded interesting, but but I think you kind of wrapped up the ending so well with what you said that, like, I keep thinking about it and laughing, and I'm like, yeah. And it, like, and so then that, like, further kind of takes down, like, my estimation of the book. Because yeah, like, the ending oh, did bad. not work. And it's right. And, like, you're right. Because that's not what an adult does. That's the other thing. Like, I, I know that it's, like, supposed to be a romance. There's a little bit of a fantasy to it. But you're also supposed to be adults, guys. And adults have to worry about things like rent and health insurance. And, and I, so. And it, I mean, I think it could have worked had it been formed differently, but it, it wasn't and it didn't. And. Because the rent insurance stuff was interesting. I just don't understand how you lose all of your fashion design contacts and then that's it. Like, you get one shot, and that's all. Right. Well, I kept waiting for her to, like, like start, like, a wedding planning business or something. Now, I think that if this was a movie with a different ending, like, I totally would have loved the movie. That's fair. Um, but, no, I kept waiting for her because she was helping her friend plan her wedding and, like, was really good at organizing stuff. So I kept waiting for her to become, like, a wedding planner or a party planner or open a boutique or something. Yeah. Well, no, and then, but like she talks about how she's not a good planner, but she's good at like just knowing what fashion will fit a person. Right. We should rate it. Okay. Our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns. We go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. Where are you? So I was unsure before we started this video, but now that we've talked about it, I am completely sure that this is a two. I think. The things were started that weren't finished. I think that the ending needed some help. And I think that the characters, they just needed to be a little bit more likable or a little, I don't know. So I'm kind of wavering because I kind of feel like I kind of want to lean towards a two as well. I gave it a three on Goodreads. And I'm like, I mean, like it had potential, but the potential was not realized. <laughs> um, so. Which is weird because I love run fairs and I like I'm always all in when it comes to a run fair book, but like even that wasn't enough to make me love this book. Excuse me. Um you're yawning over this book. I'm so like that vol speaks volumes. Um Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with the two, unfortunately. Okay. So that is where we are on Well Played and we'll see you around. Bye. There's, There's a lot of thunder. <laughs> All right, see Bye. ya.